Alright guys, so in this part of the video series we're going to be showing you how to install your subwoofer box into your Toyota Tundra double cab. On the right hand side you can see the box is completed, ready to go. We've got subwoofers in place, terminal cup, it's all wired up and ready to go. Now on the left side here, we've got what we call our naked box. And then we're going to use this box so it's easier to see what we're doing during the installation process. We like to attach our subwoofer boxes to the vehicle. A lot of similar boxes that we've seen like this just basically slide around the box, slide around the truck. Not really safe. So we, we have a bracket kit that you can purchase separately. And in the bracket kit, you get two of these angle brackets, you get 10 of these wood screws, two fender washers, a 10 millimeter bolt, and then a 10 millimeter uh, serrated, not serrated, I'm sorry, a flange nut to get it all uh, tightened down. Now, if you're not planning on using this, you're basically just going to take the box, install the subwoofer, slide it into place, and you're done. All right, so prepping for the installation. First couple things. If you have a storage, uh, if you have storage compartments under here, you're going to need to remove them to get the subwoofer box installed. And then here, I think you can see that. Let me see. Yeah, you can see this in the video. If you had the storage compartments right here, you're going to have some, um, they're like a, how do I say this? They're a snap-in bolt. Basically, you'll pinch them and remove those. And you're going to be using the bolts that we send along with the uh, with, with the bracket kit. Now, another thing we need to do is we need to take the jack and we just need to flip it upwards where this eye, see that little eyelet there? That's going to be pointing up. So I'm going to basically just loosen the jack up, point it upward, and then we're ready to start the install. So a quick look. Here you can see I've got the jack. All I did was basically point it upward. That way it gives the sub box more room to sit further back. Here all we've done so far is again the boxes, uh, we haven't assembled the box, it's still empty. We've just laid it down in the truck. Next thing we're going to do is lower the seats down back into place. Alright, so we push the sub all the way far back so it'll go. Alright guys, so here we've got our angle bracket. I'm going to take my angle bracket, line it up here, line it up flush. Then I'm going to take my marker, I'm going to go this way here, and then this way. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stand the box back up. Alright, so here you can see I've got my, my bracket flush. I've got, it lined, I've got it lined up here on the top. I think you can see it with the black line. So I'm going to take my marker and this is where my screw holes are going to go. Then I'm going to take my wood screws and make sure it's lined up. I like to leave them loose and then get the rest of them in place and then tighten them all up. Alright, so here's a quick look at what it looks like with all the screws put into place. Notice there is a little bit of an angle here and that's why we marked the line to get it lined up perfectly. Now what I like to do is I like to put these brackets in place, like I said, before we assemble the box. Then we're carefully going to take the box back out again and then reinstall and then install our subwoofers. Here you can see we've got the subs installed, it's ready to go in. Don't forget to plug in your uh, subwoofer wire before you put it back into place. Now we're going to lay the box down and I'm going to rearrange the camera angle. Alright, so here you can see we've got the bracket in place. It lined up just really nicely. We're going to take our 10 millimeter, can I see that? I'm going to take my 10 millimeter bolt, my fender washer, slide it up on top. I'm going to take my other fender washer and my uh, flange nut and I'm going to have to attach it from the bottom. It's, wow, believe it or not, got that one the first time. Usually I drop the washer. All right, so here I've got my 10 millimeter ratchet, and I've got a wrench on the bottom. I'm going to tighten this up. All right. All right, guys, a quick tip. Um, I didn't say this earlier, but before you uh, tighten up this bolt, you want to make sure that you get the bracket on the, we're on the driver's side now, get, uh, go over to the passenger side, get the bracket installed, get it ready to go, and then get your box centered up and make sure that the bolts and uh, the nut and bolt is attached on both sides before you tighten it down just makes it a lot easier. If I tighten this down and it's off a little to the left or to the right, you're going to be bouncing back and forth. So, just a quick tip. Just wanted to give you guys a quick view of the box, what it looks like uh, naked. Here at the top, you can see the terminal cup, the two 10-inch cutouts for the subwoofers, and the port is over here um, on the rear passenger side. I almost forgot, um, in the next video, or in a previous video, I should say, Daniel's going to show you how to wire up your subwoofers.